are in a very unusual company here. We have already spoken to each of you separately. It took place in Moscow, well to be more precise, in Zelenograd, on the territory of Sovelnaz. Actually, let's share why we are here and what each of us is doing here. Well, it's clear what you are here for. You have come here to swim in the sea, to look around. You won't be lured here in any other way. Yes, but the thing is, it's cold. We got deceived. Well, we are here for another purpose. What you can see is the machinery that we are making here. The question is, what is Dmitry doing here? And what is the purpose of your visit to China? Dmitry fell in love with it from the very first trip with a motorcycle, right? Yes, the motorcycle. I took a ride and it wouldn't let me go. I see. I'm thinking about the car, but the motorcycle is certainly fabulous. I agree with you on this. I also like the car, but the motorcycle is pure excitement. For the history, when I had a company in Germany, we were engaged in developments. Dmitry, Igor and Sergei worked there. Igor Korhov. Yes. I met Dmitry Alexandrovich just in time. My plans were, certainly, to gather the whole team again. I will perhaps have to do that in Moscow. That's how it goes. So, after a long time, after a break, after the company in Germany closed down, this one opened here. Well, you should always get your friends engaged back in the business. I showed it to him, lured him, told him you could swim here. He came the first time, I took him to the beach and everything. He was smiling all the time, no words necessary. Then he took the motorcycles for a ride, and that was it. But there are no arguments here. I'm here again, and if they let me, I won't leave this place. In fact, now the work is still underway. We are working with the displays, that is, we are preparing the displays for the motorcycles and cars. This is the work of Dmitry and Sergei, who is now in Minsk, working from home. The work is progressing. And I hope that soon we will be able to show you not only the motorcycles, but also our displays that display all the information on the controller, BMS, its speed, that is, the whole vehicle. And let's try to shed light on the following in a little more detail. What exactly is being done on the territory of China? As far as I understand, you have a workshop where the vehicles are assembled, there is a place where motors are produced, which are also sold in kits, as far as I know. You are right. The first motor that was developed is the DA90S with 3 kW power. It was used for testing the first motorcycles. The first car that you saw is now at the motor plant. The company's head got him for himself. The second one was DA100S, which you have ridden today. To be more precise, not only today, but also yesterday. Let's open the veil of secrecy. The testing was so intense that it is now all dirty, we'll have to wash it. By the way, that the wheel got unbalanced, it's definitely not my fault. Well, I wouldn't be so sure. So it's a 5 kilowatt on the car. The green one. No, the green one has 3 kilowatts so far. The other cars have 7 kW DA100 SL motors, so this is 5 kW. That's 5 kW. It's only 5 kW. It's only 5. It's only 5. But it's nominal. We're not talking about the maximum values. That's why there are some misunderstandings. There is a rated power that can be maintained for a very long time. And there is a power that is reached at the peak. That is, accelerating and reaching the maximum speed of 110 km per hour is achieved at the power of about 15 kW. For a DA90S motor, the maximum power is 10 kW. In fact, it turns out that at the moment of fast acceleration, more current is pumped 
in due to a powerful controller, and accordingly we can do it for a short time. But let's just say in simple terms, you can probably say that a person can safely accelerate up to 110 km per hour without experiencing any inconvenience at the same time and keep the cruising speed, that is, can I keep going at 110 for a long time? 110? No, this is a peak speed, it is overtaking. Yes, overtaking is a little more correct, because it consumes about 10-11 kW of power, so it is no longer nominal. That is, 5 kW is achieved at the speed of about 80-85 km per hour, at this speed you can keep it for a long time. But this is quite normal. But as far as I understand, for an average person, if it goes 100-110 km per hour, will the battery get discharged faster? Of course, for this power you need to consume 10 kWh of the battery per hour. That is, if you need to get somewhere very quickly, you can go like this. Generally, now we have 3.7 kWh battery. It gets discharged in about 20-25 minutes at this speed. Oh, really? Well, it's very fast. In fact, if you consume a little less, you can drive for half an hour. But we do not take into account the fact that the motor will overheat during such a time and such power. Could that happen? Well, if the motor consumes 10 kW for half an hour, then yes. That is, 10 minutes at 10 kW is still possible. But for this purpose, we are making big motors. Here in this car that you were able to drive today, there is already a new DA112S motor with a nominal power of 15 kW. So we can hit it with this battery, this controller. They just don't have enough power to give to the motor. Therefore, the controller can be hot, the motor. Even the way we drove yesterday around the mountains, we were speeding, the motor was 35 degrees. And we were driving very fast. You will see what hills we drove and how people suffered from it. We were a little uneasy. We didn't expect, to be honest, that this car could do it. And the most curious thing that in this car were you, me, our cameraman who weighs more than 100 kilograms and like up this mountain, which is impressively high. It seems to me that the slope was like this, for sure. And it goes with acceleration. Yes, you don't feel the motor at all. If you put a big controller, you need to install it in the back so it doesn't turn the wheels. That is, the wheels don't turn. Yes, you can safely climb uphill. The motor is okay too. It's just excellent. Well, to be honest, when we got into this adventure after all, I already thought initially, what if we got stuck somewhere in the middle of the mountain? It's no problem. If we were not able to go upright at the very end, then we would have huge problems. Even the concerns were not justified in fact. The car drives uphill without any problem, and the motor is amazing me. It feels like there is no mountain. We simply drove up just like that. Why is this happening? Is it a Slavyanka or any induction motor? No, Slavyanka provides a good torque. So, having this torque, the motor in fact is quite good. Big enough for this car. That is, we are preparing this motor for a 1.5 ton truck. I see. Yes, and this motor will run at 96 volts. It's even better. That is, the speed will be much higher. This car at 72 volts reaches only 90 km per hour, only. In fact, the car develops the speed of 45 km per hour, admissible in China. But it was tested at the speed of 90 km per hour. We drove it, a car with very good maneuverability. It runs very smoothly, as compared against all of our first models. Well, the main thing is to get back our first motorcycles were also about the same class and the car of the same class. Now the impressive vehicle, which as I understand you liked riding, I really liked riding it. And this impressive vehicle runs impressively in fact. It's the best, it's my favorite. I think Dima is also crazy about it. Dmitry? Yes. <laughs> not only about the red one, but also the white one too. I tried very hard not to break it. Thank you very much. The repair would be my responsibility. Even more so. I'll have to stay and help. But in fact, I really like the white motorcycle too. As I understand, the white one is the same as this one, but with other tires. There are other tires, yes. The tread is different. 
There is no tires on that one and this one has summer tires. Everything else is the same, the body kit only, additional boxes for long distance trips which you can put something in. But as far as I understand, technically it's possible to add additional batteries in the saddlebags and the trip distance will increase and this motorcycle will be able to travel, say, around China. Yes, we plan to put up to 104 ampere hour there, which is 7.4 kilowatt hours, with a travel distance of about 160 km. Thus, the weight will increase and the travel distance will be slightly reduced. And this vehicle can be run in way high. This is not advertising what is what we can really provide. As it is advertised, you set the speed of 50, the consumption of 25 amperes and start riding. Do they do that often? Yes, but it's like an ad plan. Here is the minimum consumption, but you will not go anywhere like this. The fact that we are going up and down the hill is unreal. The traffic lights and accelerations, well, it's impossible to go slowly on it. No. <laughs> because it's impossible to restrain this urge to step on the gas and started the traffic lights while fast. I think you can see now on your screens, here is the voiceover shooting actually, of how you can't help riding it. But it is really a very good vehicle. It has very good maneuverability. I mean, in addition to the motor, in addition to the battery, it's also the motorcycle itself. It has very good suspension, it's good for city rides. I personally liked it. The model doesn't seem small. Very often low-power motorcycles compared to the standards, but the large-sized ones have narrow wheels, such like, and here everything is what it should be like. This is a full-fledged transport for the city, nothing else is necessary for the city. And if you have a 100km run on the territory of Moscow, it is a perfect option to get to the work in the summer. If you travel in urban areas, where there is generally a flat terrain, then 100 is easy. Here we have the hills all the time, the descents and ascents, which take a lot of power. And on the flat terrain, this motorcycle can really provide the distance over 100. And you don't feel constrained in terms of the speed without stepping on gas. I totally agree. But I think we should end our working day at this point, because the sun has made this decision for us. It has already finished the daytime. We should hurry to the restaurant for a meeting. And you, our dear friends and viewers, please don't disconnect, stay with us, subscribe to our channel and enjoy watching the content. See you in Weihai. Exactly. There will be a lot of interesting videos for you. See you again.